Today, I'm going to teach you how to make the spinning washer filter. So what you want to do is get a photo that you want. And I am going to create a new layer and start coloring in the part that I want to make transparent. You can use any color or any paintbrush. Perfect. So what I'm going to do is go here and press Control J to duplicate the layer. Afterwards, I'm going to press Command and click on this little box. You can see that there's a little box next to my hand, right? So if you Command click, it selects the area that you just drew. So I'm going to make this not visible, select the layer below it, and then delete it. And if you turn off the bottom layer now, you can see that this is now missing the middle part that we colored, right? So you can remove this, and then I'm going to select both, say quick export as PNG and save it to my downloads. You can save it wherever you want. And then I'm going to go back to Effect House, create a new project, and then I'm going to click on segmentation. This will automatically create these three. I'm going to click add assets, go to import, select computer, and bring in those two photos that we just created. Go to background and set the texture, the original photo that we have not edited, as the background. It should look something like this. So I'm just going to go here and type in 270 so that it's vertical. And drag it. And I'm just going to locate it right in the middle. Now I am going to duplicate this background by pressing Command D, but I'm going to drag it up here. And then I'm going to replace this texture with the one that's empty, the one that we cut out. I'm also going to make it same size as the one before, and they should perfectly align. And now what you want to do is animate the middle portrait segmentation layer. So I am going to make the visual scripting area bigger. Right click to add transit by time. Click it to connect it to the start node like this. And then get rotation and set rotation. Connect the get rotation here and set this as 360. Set the duration as 10 seconds and make loop really, really big so it always stays spinning. You can adjust how fast the circle is going by editing the duration. For example, if I press one, then I'm gonna go really fast. And you, if you make it go 100, I'm going to go really slow. You can also try using different photographs, different blending modes. If you want to make your face a little smaller, you can drag your portrait segmentation layer and put it back in the middle as well. Yep. So this is how you make the spinning washer filter. Thank you, everyone. I hope it was helpful. Have an amazing day. Bye.